Today, Roscoe and I are going to be setting up and trying out and reviewing the K9 Sport Sack. This is a dog backpack I've wanted for a while, and for my birthday this year, my parents surprised me with one. My parents decided to get a custom name tag for Roscoe to stick on the backpack, which I think is a very cute touch. So this is the Velcro patch that allows you to do that. This is so adorable. All right, so I'm gonna unbuckle these. I don't know quite what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna try to put them in here and see what happens. Oh, it opens this way. So his paws are supposed to come through these two holes and he fits in this pouch. All right, well, let's try it out. Let's just angle the camera down here so you can actually see Roscoe. <laughs> You're not sure what to think, huh? Hmm. <laughs> The moment you realize there's some really helpful visuals inside the package. Can you help put it on me? All right, I've got to make a little bit of a confession. It's been about eight months since the last clip, but on the bright side, I've been able to really try out the backpack and can give you my honest opinion. First things first, this is the K9 Sport Sack Air 2. We got it in the small size in the summer mint color. It currently retails for about $75, but if you use my link in the description, you can get 10% off your purchase. So, so far I've been loving this backpack. We've used it primarily for when we go biking as a family and also when we go hiking in the winter and the snow is way too deep for Roscoe. Hey doggy. Hello. Roscoe, Roscoe you all right? Can you reach it? There you go. <laughs> Yum. Because Roscoe's a small dog, it's sometimes hard for him to come along on all of our adventures, but this backpack makes that possible, and it's so fun that we can bring him along pretty much anywhere now. So far, every time I've worn it, it's been super comfortable. The straps are really pat, and it's super adjustable, so all of my family members are able to wear this. One thing that I do wish this backpack had was an extra strap around here for your waist. That way it would just take a little bit of the weight off your shoulders. Overall though, I haven't found that it's very heavy, so it doesn't matter too much. I will say though, Roscoe is eight pounds, so if you have a bigger dog, then that might not be the same case for you. One very important thing I'll mention is it's very compact and secure. I never am really worried that Roscoe's gonna fall out of this thing. One time Roscoe saw a dog when he was in this thing and he tried to wiggle worm his way out, but the backpack kept him in there, so all was well. And like I mentioned already, I just love how compact it is and the design of it. I've seen a lot of other dog backpacks out there that don't look quite as, I don't know, stylish, slim. I've seen a lot of other dog backpacks that stick out a lot and are bulky. This isn't the case. There's no wasted space in this backpack. As for this little guy's opinion, I actually wouldn't say he hates it, which might come as a surprise to you. I will say Roscoe has quite a tolerance for all the things that we do to him. It took treats and a couple times of doing it, but now Roscoe really doesn't mind getting in here. In fact, I think he even enjoys it. Like when we were biking, he loved looking over my shoulder and smelling the air. Occasionally he'll get a little feisty and want to get out and explore, but for the most part, whenever he's in the backpack, he's pretty calm. That leads me to the next point, which it has great visibility for Roscoe. 
Roscoe gets to peek out and have his head fully exposed to the world. And I really love that his little head is right there over my shoulder and I can just reach my hand back and pat him on the head. It's just, I like it a lot. Aww, he looks so relaxed. These pockets on either side of the backpack have been great for carrying Roscoe's water and treats, but overall you should be aware that there's not much extra storage in here, so if you're counting on extra storage to carry your own belongings, sadly there is not really any space for that in this backpack. On the whole though, there's not really much I'd change. I really do enjoy this backpack and it's opened up a lot of more things that we can do with Roscoe considering his size. Roscoe feels super safe and secure inside and it's just so fun for me to have him on my shoulder. If you're interested in the K9 sports sack, I'll have a link down in the description. With that, I hope you enjoyed the video and Roscoe and I will see you next time. Bye!